Guten Tag und willkommen zurück. Today, we'll be taking a stroll through these creepy woods to look for Hansel's lost sister and learning about cutaneous manifestations of Langerhans cell histiocytosis in our sketch titled Langer, Hansel, and Gretel. Namely, we'll be discussing Hashimoto Pritzer, Letterer Siwi, Hans Schuler Christian, and eosinophilic granuloma. We will introduce and discuss these disorders in order based on age of presentation. So let's get started with this creepy Japanese shack and the sign that reads prize inside. Notice it's covered in ice cream. Hmm, how alluring. Well, I'll just make a short stop inside and... No, wait a minute. This isn't right. This creepy shack with Japanese styling and the prize inside sign is to remind you of Hashimoto Pritzker, which is also known as congenital self-healing reticulohistiocytosis, which presents at birth or shortly after, with red-brown nodules which eventually break down to leave erosions, crust over, and heal within a period of weeks. To remind you of this, we've added brown stones on the outside of the shack. And I wonder what all these eroded holes are for. They look roughly the size of a child. Hmm. These erosions or holes and piles of loose flaky dirt represent the erosions and scale that follow the papules. Next, recall that this form is self-healing with these window panes with red crosses on a white background. Finally, remember that it is skin limited, because just like you should never go into this hut, this form will never go inside your body. As if a creepy hut wasn't enough to scare you off, just look at this letterbox. This letterbox overflowing with letters represents letterer siwi histiocytosis. This is the most severe form, starts before the age of two, and carries a poor prognosis. We'll add our recurring two swan as a decorative ornament on the letterbox to remind you of the age of onset. The cutaneous features are variable and manifest as disseminated 1 to 2 mm pink papules, pustules, vesicles, petechia, crust, erosions, and impetigenization in a seborrheic distribution. These will be shown on the mailbox, where we've added some patina to the swan in a seborrheic distribution, while the purple polka dot petechia purpura should remind you of non blanching petechia or purpura. Additionally, Notice how the side of the mailbox is worn with erosions and holes, and rust is spreading up the side. These features represent the erosions and crust. On the ground next to the mailbox, there's this delightful flower bed that's been planted. But they need to water this a little more. The ground is fissuring and cracking. This is to remind you that painful fissures are common. Oh wait, is that a skeleton showing through? You know what? I've changed my mind. Even ice cream is not worth being in that house. This skeleton is to remind you that visceral involvement, including bone lesions, is common and results in a poor prognosis. Other clues to a poor prognosis is the presence of thrombocytopenia and anemia, so try to recall this broken red reflection ball on the ground and how it kind of resembles thrombocytes in a broken red blood cell. Just in case the skull isn't a strong enough hook, you can also recall the poor prognosis by remembering the letters in the letterbox one of which has a picture of poor Gretel with missing on it. Well, that certainly portends a poor prognosis. Lastly, notice the lytic lesions on the letterbox post. These are meant to remind you of osteolytic bone lesions. Well, keep your fingers crossed for little Hans. Hansel here in front will be our hook for Hans Schuler Christian histiocytosis. This form presents between the ages of 2 and 6 with the classic triad of diabetes insipidus, exophthalmus, and osteolytic bone lesions. Recall that the two swan is on the left of Hansel, and we'll add this garden statue holding a six golf club on his right, so that you can recall the ages two to six. Furthermore, on the base of the statue, we'll add these lytic lesions so that you can recall osteolytic bone lesions, and we've drawn Hansel with some very big eyes. Seriously, calm down, dude. It's only ice cream. It's not worth it. In his left hand, you might notice he's carrying a bucket of water with a hole in it, to remind you of diabetes insipidus. While there are systemic symptoms in this disease, the prognosis is good with appropriate treatment. Notice how he's standing next to a random tire bump, which, to be honest, was probably the last chubby boy that came looking for ice cream. This tire bump is our hook for vasopressin, while the bone lesions are easily cured by curatage, and being the ice cream fanatic that he is, Hansel has brought his own ice cream curate, or scooper. Notably, only 30% of patients with HSC have cutaneous manifestations, and while classically described as a triad, the vast majority do not present with all three features. Lastly, let's cover eosinophilic granulomas, which presents between 6 and 12 
and basically never involves the skin. To remind you of eosinophilic granuloma, we'll draw the spooky tree with our red eosinophil red berries growing on it, and recall this carton of dozen eggs to remind you of 12 years old. Okay, the kid who brought those eggs probably deserved it. Vandalism? Not cool, dude. This form presents with asymptomatic bone lesions, most commonly involving the axial skeleton. So, recall the hole in this tree and the axe sticking out of the tree with a handle made of what appears to be vertebrae. Creepy, yet reassuring that the witch is resourceful. The vertebra and axe should remind you of axial skeleton. While typically asymptomatic, these patients can occasionally have spontaneous fractures, so we've made this branch snap in to remind you of this. Like Hans Schuller Christian, the bone lesions in eosinophilic granuloma are cured with curatage. Alright, let's sum up this sketch and go get some ice cream. Not from here, literally from anywhere else. The Japanese shack and sign that reads prize inside is for Hashimoto Pritzker or congenital self-healing reticulohistiocytosis. This presents at birth with red-brown papules, which give way to erosions and crust, but spontaneously resolves over a period of a few weeks. This is shown by the red-brown papules, eroded holes, and flaky crust-like dirt, while you can recall that it's self-healing by remembering the cross on the windows. Letterer siwi is the most severe form and is shown in the front left by the letterbox. It manifests by the age of two with red-brown papules, pustules, petechia, erosions, and crust in a seborrheic distribution. Recall the two swan with patina in a seborrheic distribution, the purple polka dots, erosions, and rusting on the mailbox. Painful fissures are common and shown with the fissured earth, which has left a skeleton exposed to represent a poor prognosis and bone lesions. Poor prognosis and bone lesions are also shown with the missing letter and the eroded mailbox post. On labs, anemia and thrombocytopenia are poor prognostic factors and shown by the broken gazing ball representing platelets and a broken red blood cell. Hans Schuller Christian is shown with Hansel and manifests classically between the ages of 2 and 6 with diabetes insipidus, osteolytic bone lesions, and exophthalmos. This is shown with Hansel positioned between the two swan and the statue holding a six golf club, the lytic lesions on the statue base, his big bulging eyes, and the leaky bucket that he's holding. Recall that the prognosis is good with appropriate treatment, which includes vasopressin, the tire pump, and curatage of bone lesions, the ice cream scooper. Last is eosinophilic granuloma, which doesn't usually have cutaneous features and presents between 6 and 12, so recall the tree with eosinophil red berries and the dozen egg carton. If it is symptomatic, it manifests with spontaneous fractures, shown by the snapping branch, but most often involves the axial skeleton, which is the axe with a handle made of vertebra. Well, I hope you learned a lot, but at the very least, you better have learned one thing. Don't go into the creepy cottage in the woods. All right. I'll catch you next time.